Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how you can use surveys to massively boost your conversion rate. But not only that, I'm also gonna show you all the templates, all the software, and the whole structure of how we set up surveys and how we actually boost conversion rates of our clients. There's also a little gem in here where I show you exactly how we've done it for one client where we boosted their conversion rate with 20% just by utilizing the data we had from the surveys. All right, so let's dive straight in here. So why the important service? You know, uh, it's pretty dry and a lot of businesses don't really want to use it. They are important because they actually reveal insights of your customers and actually let you know what it is they think. Uh, it's about your product, your website, your brand, whatever it is. And honestly, it is data that is telling you exactly why customers are not converting on your website. And why would you want that, right? It's so important. By the way, 99% of all the businesses we work with, they never do any meaningful survey work. Um, and this is really funny because the few businesses that actually do, they never utilize it in a professional way. They never actually ask the right questions. They ask the wrong questions and they never do anything with the survey work. I don't know if you've done that for your business, but sometimes when you conduct these surveys, no one is compiling the information and actually making it into something you can use in order to improve your ads, in order to improve your conversion rate, your average order value, and so on and so on. So this is what we're seeing among our clients. But you shouldn't feel bad because you're among the 99%. And serving your customers, it's not really worth anything uh, if you don't do anything with the data. And so that's what I really am going to show to you today. And as I said, this is really the reason why you should pay attention today. I'm going to show you one case study where we actually increased the conversion rate on 20%. So that's pretty insane. And those things you will learn how to use on your own after this video. All right. So. This is a case study. A client of ours had never surveyed their customers before, right? But they had a gut feeling that something they knew about their motivations, their values, anxieties were like. They, they thought they knew who their customer were basically, right? But they had no hard evidence. And so what we did was we surveyed their customers. We conducted review mining. And by the way, review mining is where we go to external platforms like Amazon Trustpilot, uh, whatever, Yupco, whatever they use. We take all the data from their reviews. We split them into negative and positive boxes. And we analyze which attributes, which motivations, with which anxieties they have based on all this. And we kind of compile that data, which I will reveal a bit later. But basically, we did all this, and the client, this client that I'm going to talk to you about now is super successful. You know, they're doing 400K plus a month, and they're really growing fast. Uh, they're an energy gum company, so, uh, you know, think of it as an alternative to energy drinks, coffee, and other similar products. But also, um, based on the thousands of survey responses and reviews we did for this particular company, we created what we call the voice of customer tree. And this voice of customer tree is extremely valuable valuable because it reveals everything that a customer likes about the brand and what they don't like. So you create two different ones. And here you can see for this particular uh, energy gum brand, these were all the motivations and reason reasons to buy, you know, they love that it's an alternative to, you know, Red Bull and all these other drinks. They love that they're not getting an afternoon slump after they consume it. Uh, they love that their breath still is great after they eat it and so on and so on. So all the main benefits uh, that we found is presented here. And really what we work with is create uh, a list of all the motivations they have to buy based on the surveys and all the responses and based on all the reviews and everything we can find externally. And so these were the main motivations that they had for this particular brand and the main reasons to buy. So this is something you need to note down. This is really important, but also the value proposition that they identify with the most uh, which was kind of shocking, actually, uh, was that they loved that it had a long uh, lasting flavor. It was easy to carry around, like you can have it in your pocket because it's a gum. You know, um, it doesn't actually get, you know, some gum actually doesn't taste good after a while and it gives you smooth and steady energy. But also there were hesitations that we found out, like uh, I wonder if I'll have sleep uh, and sleep impact. I wonder if I'll have jitters and so on. So we also add that in. So these three uh, things are what we collect from the data. And you might ask now, like, why are you compiling all this information? What do you need from this? But these are real reasons why people are not buying their brand and not buying their product. And the value proposition that customers care about the most is what we revealed in here, um, which is really, really important for that brand. And addressing the customer's biggest anxieties and reasons to not buy, those were what we saw up in hesitations, which we see up here. So analyzing all of this, this is how you convince a visitor to buy a product. If you get the motivations right, if you get the value proposition right, and if you address their biggest anxieties and concerns, that's how you convert a customer. That's all conversion rate optimization really is at its core. And actually scientists and a lot of different sources have concluded that this is the scientific model to convert a 
customer. The probability of conversion relies on these factors. And this looks super, you know, technical. Is it math related? Do it have to be technical? No, not really. You just have to understand that you need to find the main, the most important motivations for the users. You need to clarify your value proposition on a landing page, on a product page, on a home page that resonates the most with the client. And you have to address their anxieties and the frictions they might have. And of course, you want to also incentivize the call to action. So these are the things you need to consider when you want to convert a customer. And so how does that actually apply to our user case right here? Well, if we look at our motivations, we can slot them in here. If we look at our hesitations, we can slot them in here. And if we look at the value propositions, we can put them in here. So basically, now that we have extracted all the most important things from the service, from the reviews, we can begin to build their content. We can begin to rebuild their Facebook ads. We can begin to rebuild their category pages and home pages and all of it. And all of this data is not gut-based. It's all based on what the users find more importantly. Right? And I'll show you just in a minute why you want to listen to this, why you want to do this yourself. Because let's, let's keep going on here. We did a split test based on the lessons learned here, applying motivations, hesitations, and values. And so what we did here, this is, a, this is the standard, this is what it was before. And this is our new variant that we applied based on our learnings. So it's a little bit hard to see here. I'm actually gonna make it a little bit bigger. We apply extra images uh, that communicate some of the values that they wanted to have. Um, and we, there's a video as well that actually goes into some of the other motivations. We addressed their anxieties, we addressed their hesitations, and all of this combined actually had a major impact on the conversion rate. And you're about to see why. These are the results from the work we did in the survey and from the review mining. And as you can see, this split test improved their conversion rate by 20.4%. That's an insane increase that you cannot always rely on having. But I truly believe that serving your customers, understanding all of these things is going to reveal major impact on your business if you apply the changes that the customers ask you for, right? Because they basically tell you what it is they want to hear on your website, what you should display, how the video should be set up and all that stuff. So these are crazy results. And how do we actually go about getting them? So what is the go-to strategy to set up a survey? Or how do you how do you set it all up? How do you compile the information, right? So we do this in Purplefy every single day for our clients and we have systems in place uh, where we can scale this up. And by the way, if you, find value in this video. If you think this is good information and you want me just to do more videos, if you could like and subscribe to this video, that will help me tremendously uh, because I'm starting this channel from scratch and every single like and every single follow, subscrip subscription and so on actually helps me a great deal. So please, if you can, that will help me a lot. But all right, how do you actually set it all up? So that's the next step. So we have two types of service we want to set up in order to get these kind of results. We want to get visitor service, uh, which is potential customers. These are just people browsing your website. And then you've got post-purchase, uh, which is your customers that actually just finished converting, buying something, and then you survey them right after. The reason why we want to have both is if we only did post-purchase, we wouldn't know why people are not buying. So we can set up a survey here as a pop-up within 20 to 30 seconds after they go to our website. We could also set it up as a abandonment trigger. So it kind of uh, triggers when you can see that the customer is exiting the page. Uh, but you would also set it up just after 30 seconds or 20 seconds. We do that because we can collect way more data. But this is really the, the, the gold for a lot of businesses because they don't understand why uh, visitors are not buying, like why are they leaving the website? So we conduct these surveys. So how do you set all that up? We will simply set it up like this. This could be two examples of how you can set it up in terms of the design, super, super easy. And later on, I will reveal other uh, really helpful templates you can use, but I'm just telling you nothing fancy, just a little pop-up uh, where you ask them to help. Uh, I actually like this one, help us help you, which I feel like a lot of people kind of um, like. So this one is really nice. You want to highlight the green button and you want to kind of gray out the no fangs, but obviously you want to make it easy to also disable it if they don't want to do it. So that's how you do online service. That's the design. You can use tons of different companies to set this up. You can use uh, Optin Monster and other really good pop-up uh, softwares, tons of it out there. Just Google a pop-up uh, software and you can set it up. And that works for Shopify and WooCommerce and all the big ones. So that's, that's kind of like the glance of what a pop-up looks like. And now let's dive into the questions you want to ask, which is kind of the meat of everything. So here I did a uh, Google Doc, which by the way, comment below in this video, and I'll send you all the Google Docs and the, everything else that I talked about in one go. So just comment below and I'll send it to you. Um, and that's it. All right, so 
what you want to do is obviously you want to split test the title of your pop-up so that you can get the best click-through rate and get more people to take action. So we have found from thousands and thousands of surveys that these titles actually work super well. One is just calling all, and then let's say you're selling gum. You could be gum lovers or uh, whatever. Uh, if it's pets, it could be calling all pet lovers, whatever it is, just kind of make it relevant for that for your audience. And the second one is just help, help us improve your shopping experience, pretty basic. It could also be to help us help you, which converts quite well. And then you could also give away a gift card. So on a monthly basis, just give away one gift card or whatever. And um, people will have a little higher tendency to reply and, and fill it out if you give them that. And then just the information under, this is what you actually put into the pop-up front page. You know, we're trying to make your shopping experience better. Five short questions, would you mind answering them? And then as I said, like highlight the green option for them to take the survey and gray out the not interested option, but obviously still make it available. Um, and then what is the content? What are the questions you want to ask? Well, we found that these questions work the best. Um, which of, which of these best describes you and then you fill out you know the different stages there are so we can categorize what kind of buyer they are if they want a lot of information or if they want a little bit so this one i like to ask first because it gives a lot uh, it, it really understand who they are and also what do you, you currently use to accomplish wh whatever task so let's say it's the energy gum he might say uh, i drink coffee or i drink energy drinks so that's re really important to understand what are they using right now when they're not using your product uh, is there anything you dislike or want to change about how you're currently accomplishing the goal? So let's say it's about getting energy and getting back up on your feet. So they might say something like, oh, I, I hate the jitters. I hate the crash that comes with it. And this is pure gold. You can use this for your Facebook ads. You can use this for your copy on landing pages, on product pages, on home pages, whatever it is. People are going to be specifying here their uh, hesitations, their anxieties, and their problems, which if you address them throughout your copy, that that's going to help them so much. That's basically a hook. So you could start with how you solve the most important problem or issue they're having right here. And that could be a hook in your Facebook ad, right? So there's so much gold from asking this uh, question to number three. And I definitely recommend putting that in. That's really, really one of the number ones. What actually matters uh, to you when choosing a type of solution like a product service? This is really important too, because you want to know what actually matters, right? And here you want to you want to put plenty of options uh, for them to consider, and also very important other because the other is actually where you get so much information that you didn't think about. So what matters most to you when you choose a solution? So like let's say an energy gum, then it could be something like flavor, cost, uh, how long the taste lasts, uh, the smell. Um, tons of other things, right? Like obviously the energy that you get from it. So you want to add, you want to put in all the obvious ones that you know about, and then you want to make sure the other is there because most of the time people will actually add in other stuff and the other stuff is actually the gold because we don't know our customers by default. So you will get so much from there. Anyway, and there's, is there anything holding you back from trying the product service right now? This this question you cannot skip because this is going to be like, yeah, I didn't like the experience on your website. I think it's too expensive. I didn't see a flavor that I like and so on and so on and so on. And once we compile this data and put it in a descending order in terms of what is more popular uh, in terms of the issues, then you can actually go about changing things in the website. So this is really important. Anyway, those are the five questions, super easy. And then just a send button at the end so they can submit the data. And that's it. Right. That is so easy. That's the visitor survey that you want to put up. And in terms of the Post-purchase survey, you can either do an email blast out to all your current customers because you maybe you don't want to wait for them to shop again before you can ask them. So I always recommend first do that, but also implementing a post-purchase survey. Uh, that is super, super important um, because you're going to you're gonna get so much from that, also from new customers. Uh, so make sure you're on point with doing both. And just quickly run through what a customer survey is. It's basically, this is an email you can send out. And then there are all the questions down here. Um, like, how do you hear about us? So this is really important for marketing, like where they're actually coming from. That one we see is a really nice one for the marketing department within the company to understand, you know, where should we be spending more money actually? And then when did you realize you needed a product like product slash service? What was going on in your world that caused you to look for a type of solution? So this again reveals uh, what are the problems they have? So what are the symptoms? What are they doing? Um, and so this gives really good information. What one problem would, uh, would you say product slash service eliminates a, a lessons for you? Very similar to the visitor survey, but again, it highlights that number one thing, the reason they're buying, which should be all over your ads, should be all over your product page and so on. So again, a golden question. And then what, what one benefit would you say product slash service you've gotten valued uh, and valued most from using, you know, product slash service. So again, really, really, really important because this and this, the problem and the benefit, the number one problem, the number one benefit, that's all you really need to convert people. If you can actually get that and put it up and address it, that's all you need.
All right, so there's a few more questions, but again, these are super fast paced. Like, why did you choose products like service over another solution? And then you can, you know, highlight the other solution, but also you can allow them to just type out, which we prefer uh, because it gives more organic answers. The only uh, negative is that you have to sort and clean up that data afterwards in order to actually extract value from it. So that's one thing. The three uh, objectives um, that you would use to describe product, again, amazing. You can use this as your ad copy. This is your uh, email uh, titles and so on, because all this stuff is just uh, so useful uh, for everyone. And this is really important as well, guys. Once you've done all this data work, uh, we do this. We actually present it to everyone in the business, and not just um, uh, the people that work with conversion rate optimization or marketing. We also want customer service to know about it. We want everyone because if you know the main benefits, you can better help your clients, right? So this is really important. Um, and then are you happy with products as service? And then here's an easy way to kind of see if something's really wrong right now. And how likely are you to recommend to others, uh, which helps to kind of score uh, also, you know, where are you right now with your customers? Could you do something better? And then you want to go in, let, let's say they're below six, you should have somebody go in and actually analyze what it is the problem is, and then you should highlight that too. And what's the number one thing you mentioned to your friend if you want to convince them to try it out? This one is, again, amazing because those are things that people think of when they think of your brand and the main benefit again. So useful information. So anyway, guys, so that's how you conduct a visitor survey and a post-purchase survey. So what do we do with this? We take all our survey results and we put it into an entry form in order to categorize all our data and clean it up. And if we don't do this, it's going to be one of those surveys that gets a nice presentation, everybody claps, and then the meeting's over and everybody goes back to work and nothing happens. So we want to clean everything up so we can take actions based on the survey data. And you have to remember that I'll, I'll go one step back. You have to remember that this work of cleaning it up and taking action on the most popular um, issues and benefits and motivations and so on is what will give you that insane 20% spike in conversion rate. So look at here. So we conducted uh, survey results for this client and we were able to calculate. And again, this is just a little bit of data. We have a lot more than this. We we're able to count how important each of these benefits were. So really surprisingly to us actually was that this was an alternative to unhealthy products that was the number one thing because so many people are actually using uh drinking coffee drinking red bulls there's so much sugar and bad things in it so actually the number one thing that they love was that it's a great healthy uh, alternative to unhealthy products they also love that there was no afternoon slump crash when consuming it so when we construct the new product pages and the ads and so on we want to utilize the most important benefits most important issues uh, and put that up on the website, right? So we, we're probably not going to put, you know, it's smooth and soft to chew because it's not super important. While it is there, it shouldn't be at the top of the list. <clears throat> now, this wouldn't be this wouldn't be possible to do unless somebody has sit, has sat down, created a data entry form like this, where you put in, you know, all the information, uh, actually talk about, you know, like lock in every data point. So let's say there were 600 responses to a survey you will put in 600 uh, responses here and categorize everything. Is it a motivation? Is it a value? Is it an anxiety? What is the main topic of this message? And what is the kind of desired message? Uh, what kind of message is it? You know, it's a uncertainty, objection, perceived risk. And once you've categorized all that, then you can actually go in and, and, and do pivot tables and combine the data and so on. So I know this is a lot of work. And if you don't want to do this, we'll be happy to do it for you at Purple Fire. We have specialists just combing through data and doing this day in, day out. But you can do it yourself. And I'm just telling you, this is exactly how you do it. Um, don't forget that if you want my um, templates, if you want the data entry form and even everything else, just a comment below and I'll send everything to you. Uh, and then you can get going straight away. Uh, and again, if that doesn't work out, you can always talk to us. You know, we're getting some decent results for our clients here. Uh, and we are excited, you know, to continue on this journey and learning every single step of the way. Um, so, yeah, if you have any questions, reach out to me on my email. I know this was a super long video, probably way too long for most of you guys. But if you are serious about conversion rate, you need to do surveys because they have such a massive impact on your clients. Anyway, I uh, hope this was useful. Um, talk to you later. Bye.